fuck was that? What's up, guys, and welcome to another edition for Wrestling Pulse. Alongside my partners, Quaddy and Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I am J-Man. We're on that we don't give a shit rage. This edition of the Pulse is going to be giving you guys our WWE Night of Champions 2013 review. Just kidding. Was that was that what that thing was? Just kidding. There was a pay per view. Just getting off there with the pay per view. Uh, what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of the uh, the show this evening? That looked like a Sunday Night Heat, Saturday Night Velocity. That's not. I, s- I, sl- I slept. You don't know what you're talking about though. So what? You I had no testicles. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, Robert, what do you think about the show? I, I don't recall most of it. I was sleeping. We had somebody sleeping up front snoring. <laughs> Did you take your medications this evening? <laughs> we don't know. He's already making weird things. I don't know what is coming out of his mouth right now. <laughs> it is scaring shit out of him. Okay, that's good. Let's we got a pretty decent peanut gallery tonight, boys. Peanut gallery meaning... And uh, girls? That's right. And Robert? Love you, babe. Um. Okay, I hope to God you weren't talking. This about was <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Um, this was bad. This was I don't really, know if really bad, bad. Was really a good statement for this. Like horrendous crap. Shit. I don't. I honestly don't even know what the fuck I just sat and watched. I, I don't know what just happened right there. It's weird. Food was good. Food was fantastic oh, this evening. Awesome. Beat Eddie J. Always on point. Um, new, new new recipe. Was we did. Good. We had like the baked mashed potato, like bacon, bacon cheese, cheese, fucking oh. tremendous orgasmic food. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe pushing it a little bit. Okay, um, we have to, do, have to have something positive. Queen. Outside. <laughs> so it makes it funny. What makes it funny? Well, that wasn't your other hand. We're gonna. S- <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna your McGee. we're gonna start off with the pre-show. Uh, it was tag show my tag tag show my match. The primetime players won this matchup as predicted. Went on um, later in the night to face the Shield for the tag game titles. Right now. It wasn't. Did you say it's re- what? Can you please? No. Can you for the viewing I just, audience? I just say. Can you please repeat? What we you are really happy. Said, it's gonna get real gay in here right now. All I said. Gay means happy. Hey, you mania and not funky with Robert. <laughs> <laughs> all I got to say. Uh, we had the opening segment um, with uh, Triple H, uh, Paul Heyman, and Curtis Axel. Um, <laughs> Triple H uh, announced that the uh, there'd be no interference in the main event for the WWE Championship. Uh, also announced that Curtis Ass. Oh, I'm gonna say Curtis Asshole. <laughs> that close to saying Curtis Asshole. Mm, typos. Curtis Asshole. Indeed. Um, uh, we have to defend the championship against whoever he saw backstage, and it just so happened to be that Kofi Kingston was the first person that he encountered backstage, um, and uh, we had we had that that match. That, that was an okay match. Curtis Axel retaining, retaining the Intercontinental Title in that match up there. Um, next matchup, we have the Fatal 4-Way for the Divas Championship, uh, which uh, champion AJ Lee going up against Natalia, Naomi, and Brie Bella. Yeah, really, the only thing that happened here, um, Naomi went to do a crossbody off the rope and just completely missed Natalia. And Natalia tried to sell it like she hit her. Oh. Made, really made no sense. It was just it's bad. One. Yeah. AJ retained with a uh, Black Widow on Natalia. How was that? Uh, I think he's trying to grow a mustache. <laughs> We've always talked about Robert's mustache, facial I hair. Sh- I haven't said shaved in a few days. Escapades. God, what a great word. Yeah, that's a good word. Dude, I'm trying, I'm trying to be like J-Man. I'm trying to get the that's right. quality of J-Man. Mini try. Yeah, I don't have any facial Quad, hair. <laughs> he doesn't have any. He's a fucking little child over here. No testicles. No balls, what the fuck no I'm talking about. No facial hair. No idea what the fuck he's doing Nobody's right intimidated now. by I don't me. even know what sort of cancer or disease he has on his shirt right now. Nobody's intimidated Nobody's by me. Nobody's intimidated by him. One person might be. It's too soon. All right? It's too soon. Sorry. Um, all Once I got to say... Not bunking with the sun. All I, <laughs> I, am not all I got to say is Brie Bella... Was wearing some sort of candy colored, multi color <laughs> sucker looking sucker thing. 
if you guys ever knew, like, about, like, the thing, you know, I always just remember carnivals, or, like, something, like, where you get, like, big, huge suckers that, like, had multiple colors on them. I don't know what the fuck it was. But and we determined, by halfway through this match, it was for gay pride. Maybe. That is what my lovely, beautiful girlfriend, Nicole, represent. Thought about there. Maybe it was. I don't know. You were right, babe. Good job. AJ Lee High five. <laughs> High five. AJ Lee retaining the Divas Championship in that outstanding match up there. Uh, next up, we have the world title line with champion Alberto Del, 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 Alberto Del Rio. Went up against Rob Van Tam. <laughs> you talk much? Not tonight. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. Um, thank God it's not even worth talking about. Um, my finger's twitching. I can't even control um, So it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You have no balls. Don't do that. No one's intimidated by anyone. Nobody. I have no One friends. person is. This match is out. I, 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 need, I, need I need to find a hobby. This, <laughs> <laughs> this match was okay. <laughs> it was? It was alright. It was like a glorified SmackDown match that, like I said on the preview, me and, me and Quad did. It's, that's all the world title matches are now. It's just glorified SmackDown matches. I wouldn't say glorified. I would say SmackDown match. You're right. That's true. They don't doesn't even be, <laughs> need to be. Top show. World title match. <laughs> it does not even. even <laughs> okay, um, we need to get new hosts. It was okay. Um, you might. You guys should have seen the episode we wanted to do. Oh, that'd be <laughs> that would have been genius. Um, Maybe someday in the future. It was okay. I mean, just you know, it is what it is. It's it. It's nothing special here. Del Rio keeping the championship off of disqualification, which was just fucking retarded. Uh, they did the RVD Van Daminator in the corner. Um, really thought after that, who brought the Quaddy brought that one up. I'm like, uh, maybe a cash in here? I'm like, oh shit, maybe. No. No. That'd be uh, if they would have wasted it. Far, if they had did that and wasted it on this pay per view, I'd have been pissed because they could have saved it for something. Probably, he probably yeah, wasn't even there. If they, if they save it, it's going to get the fans in it. Fans going to start thinking about it. The as more you wait with it, the more. As soon as something happens, they're going to be chanting it. Yeah, because even nobody in the crowd even realized. Like, we were just like, oh shit, yeah, that could. And everyone like, was no. just happy RVD did a Van Dam and it didn't fall off the top rope. It's true. He's very high up there. He could have I died. see what you did there. I, <laughs> I saw what you did there. That was good. Yeah, because he does a lot of drugs. Rob Van Dam. <laughs> no. no, he doesn't. I mean, he probably has. He has. I'm going out on a limb and saying he probably has. Yes. Him and Jeff um, Yes. Uh, next up, uh, we have what we were all waiting for, which was <laughs> the one-on-one -on -one contest between The Miz and Fandango. All I got to say is hashtag YWW. <laughs> like, that's literally... During this whole pay-per-view in the past couple days, of after finding out Jim Ross was fired, hashtag YWWE. That is true. Uh, I believe we will be talking about that very soon. I'm fucking we ready will. to go. Quaddy is, no Quaddy is ready to go off on that, but he's doesn't it? He's not intimidating, so don't worry about it. He's a giant teddy bear. Um, with a beard, he does have a beard. I have no facial hair. He does have facial hair. <laughs> One person is scared of him. I Too no, fucking soon, Robert. I have no life. Who the fuck are you? Get a life quad. God, that is harsh. That is fucking harsh. I'm telling you, if that motherfucker bunks with me, <laughs> maybe one Some person down. in life, the truth is hard. You gotta know that the truth is what? hard. What? The truth is You're talking hard. about bunking and hard things. Just no. <laughs> Just fucking stop, Robert. Just please. You were gonna scare all of us. I don't even want to be in the same fucking hotel right now. I'm gonna sit next to my brother J Man over here. That's right. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> Um, next matchup, we had the no disqualification handicap elimination match. That sounds retarded to even <laughs> say. Uh, with CM Punk, uh, Curtis Axel, and Paul Heyman. Um, Robert, I believe you get to talk about this. Sure. One. Punk, <laughs> you know, Punk came out with his kendo stick. Instead of saying clobbering time, he said it's time to die. I know. I saw that, dude. What? what? No. Continue. Continue, beer man. <laughs> Whisker. <laughs> Your whisker biscuit. <laughs> I closed the lid. <laughs> that entrance was epic. Yes, continue. <laughs> anyway. I forgot what I was going to say. But you mean the match? Did you watch the match? Yes, it did. Walking. Don't look at us. You guys are distracted. With the okay. kendo stick, and when he said, when he walked in, he said... I already said it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Punk starts off with uh, Axel in the ring, and they're both had to try to. He, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I can't talk tonight. <clears throat> Makes two of us. 
CM Punk and Curtis Axel start off the ring, start off the match in the ring with both Kindle sticks. God, I can't even say what. Any hoodles, move past that. They both had Kindle sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, any hoodles. Not much happened. Uh, Punk, and, uh, Punk made Axel tap out to get his hands on Heyman, and he ended up beating Heyman with a Kindle stick. Handcuffed, handcuffed his arms behind him. It was just basically trying to kill him. <laughs> Any hoodles, continue, please. Uh, yeah, he got bad from there. Um, toward, at the very end of it, as uh, Punk was beating Heyman, Ryback came out and put Punk through a table and carried out Heyman. Okay, go, that, was very, that was a very good description of what happened, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Any hoodles? What's next, guys? <laughs> All right, any hoodles? Um, I found that entertaining outside of the Ryback. That that, 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 inter- that match interaction with Ryback. That was. I, I hate to tell you, up until that lap when Ryback came out, that match was the best match of the night. I mean, it was entertaining just because CM Punk is the way CM Punk is. But God damn it, but I cannot hoodles. wait for Ryback and Punk. God, I, I can't. Looking I really to can't wait for that. Okay, Whiskers, <laughs> chill out over there. <laughs> All I gotta say is hashtag Gordy Howe, man. Hashtag any hoodles. Any. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Next matchup, we had the United States Championship on the line when champion Dean Ambrose of the Shield went up against uh, the show off Dolph Ziggler. Um, we were looking forward to this one. They did not announce it officially when we talked about it on the preview. Um, nothing really special here. Just the kind of okay, decent little matchup. Uh, Dean Ambrose gets the victory with this finish. Uh, I don't even think they have a name for it right now. Um, Dean Ambrose is finished. Dean Ambrose <laughs> is finished. That's what we call it. Uh, but yeah, Dolph's still kind of falling off the face of the earth after... Flopping like a uh, flounder. <laughs> what, did you fucking read the swords today? Flopping like flounder. Hey, hoodles. <laughs> I should not have told him to write that down. I should have told him that. God damn it. Oh, yeah, that was... Yeah. We are just falling apart at the seams here, guys. We are really just... We are bad. Um, Just like the pay-per-view was. I mean, we, it's only worth it, right? You know. Um, <laughs> Dean Ambrose retaining the United States Championship uh, in that matchup there. Shield remaining dominant, um, as we saw in the next matchup for the WWE Tag Titles. We had the champions, uh, the Shield, going up against the uh, primetime players. Millions of dollars. De- decent match for a matchup was kind of just thrown together, if you want to say. Um, pre-show match was better than this match, I hate to tell you. <laughs> um... She'll continue their dominance. Uh, I thought the primetime players were going to get in and then start talking amongst themselves and realize it wouldn't make any sense for the Shield to <laughs> break up. So, um, Shield retain any hoodles. Any hoodles? Any hoodles. Next. Flopping like flounder. <laughs> Next up, we had the uh, main event for the WWE Championship. We had champion Randy Orton going up against Daniel Bryan. Um, I just don't know what... Went up and took a piss before we did this video. Talk with my father. And my father's never one to really give a shit. Like, he's always just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh-huh. Good job, guy. My dad, literally, I went upstairs. He's like, what the fuck was that? Like, that, that, what? Like, it's almost like they didn't have a... I'm like, yeah, I don't know what the... That would explain it. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. Um, pretty good matchup. Um... Daniel Bryan looked great, as usual. Um, Randy Orton worked well, well with Daniel's you know, style of how he does things. Um, got that knockout of the ref. Um, got the other ref in there. Ref came back in. Quick counted him off the, the Busaiku knee. Um, and the fast counted one, two, three. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. This just it only seems to me like it's just more for Randy and Tripp to complain about how Daniel Bryan really couldn't beat him. And... They're gonna have to get a special ref for some fucking match down there. It just, uh, it's just bad. It just this doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, it just nobody could picture this coming because nobody this, in the fuck. It just doesn't make any sense. It seems like it's fucking retarded. It seems like they like screwed up somewhere and that wasn't supposed to be the end. It really seemed that way. And uh, it seemed like hopefully the ref doesn't get fired like for a quick count. I guess. Oh, well. It, it it literally yeah. seems it, it seems like something. Funky Monkey's going to come out of this. Probably. Like, they're going to have a special guest referee. They're going to do another match with this, which we won't be upset with, but with the way this was all set up, it seemed like Brady was going to win this hands down, and then that happened, and I woke up from my nap and realized, <laughs> what 
the fuck just happened? Ew, old Robert, what's up? <laughs> That's what we do. It goes me, then, then you. I, I was getting ready to I mean, any hoodles whiskers. What's up? I was waiting until Quaddy got done. Quaddy was done. Okay, that's good. No testicles is done. <laughs> okay. You know, the flying goat won the title here. Um, only way they could continue this, I think, is let Dean and Brian finally win it and then kind of flip the title almost every other time with them to keep it going through Hell in a Cell. Because otherwise, you know, Dean and Brian keeps losing. Why should he be in the World Title Hunt or WWE Title Hunt? What makes him still be a number one contender if he lost, you know, twice to Orton? So they'll probably come out, fire the referee for the fast count, have a special guest, guest the referee at Battleground, probably be Trip, Randy wins, takes him back to Hell in a Cell, and they'll probably end it there. I mean, I could see that the way how just fucking retarded this is. How this up. was. Just, I don't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you're just going to have to flip flop the tiles back for because it does make a lot of sense. Why would you keep having somebody like that be the number one contender if he keeps losing? Um, outside of there's nobody else to do it with, there's nobody, you know, um, they're just so flip floppy sometimes. Would it just they, they make a whole hell of a lot of sense, and then they'll just do something like this, and it'll just make you scratch your head. Like, uh, even if you do something like this, and it's not great, and everything doesn't deliver, and it's just like something like, well, maybe they'll just a stepping stone. It's one of those things that just you know you have to build upon a story. No, this just didn't make any fucking sense. This just, I I don't know what the fuck just happened, and. Uh, there's really nothing else to really explain it just besides that made no fucking sense and uh is it great to see daniel bryan as the wwe champion hell yeah it's great to see daniel bryan as the wwe champion but it comes with all these stupid fucking retarded ass circumstances and it just doesn't feel right it's not like i mean if you had ended it with him beating cena clean at SummerSlam and then go from there we're all good but then you took this you know storyline and ran with it and now you're doing this fast counting beating him for it's like Nobody fucking is going to believe in any of this if you just keep doing stupid shit like that. Just don't do anything clean and don't do anything, you know, normal. This is just fucking ass backwards. Um, as was this review. Pretty darn ass backwards. Any hoodles. Any hoodles. Awful. Uh, this is pretty bad. Um, by far the worst pay-per-view this year. WWE standard. Um, uh, any, I think any, almost... I think anybody's a, yeah, standard. Yeah, I think almost any standards. I don't know. Genesis was really bad. I'm saying equal. Okay. Genesis was really so I don't even remember it. I just remember it being really fucking. So, bad. so was this stuff? Yeah, this is bad. Um, yeah, our expectations part, part was too high on this for. I really didn't have high expectations. To be honest with you, I was I, going into it thinking it was gonna be okay. I thought it was just gonna be mediocre. Yeah, and then it could even the meet crap we saw. Couldn't meet mediocre. That's no no bueno. Um, but we're Lot gonna explain and do tomorrow. What? I'll explain and do tomorrow. Yeah, no tomorrow. shit. I yeah. And I they won't. And that's something they won't really want to explain it. Armstrong will get fired probably as a referee, and they'll set up for Battleground. That's it. Probably. Um, yeah, we're going to... I mean, gonna... Hateman's new guy will be out there right oh, back. Oh, God, just don't even fucking remind me. Um, we're going to get the hell out of here. Um, this one I'll wrap up. Our WWE Night of Champions 2013 review for my partner, Squatty, and Roberto. Look at that mustache. My lovely girlfriend, Nicole, over there, and Kristen on the sideline. Um, I am J-Man, and thank you for watching another edition for Wrestling Pulse, the Pulse, Wrestling Pulse.